All right, well, as you guys can tell, I am currently 1 DTL right now. Okay, I just let two people in. Okay, he's up. He's going to bone me. That's fine. I'm going to go down. He chased me. And let's see. It looks like... Oh, he's still up here. No way he's still up here. Okay. And I hit him down the drop down. Now he's just down there. Yeah, put him up. All right, we're just going to be busy. still coming back with another HF video on Viper. And in today's video, we do go on an alt, which is the account I'm on right now. And we do do some 1DTR trapping. And I pretty much just show you guys how to get set up as a solo and trap as a solo and pretty much get rich. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you do, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But yeah, I'll catch you guys straight in today's video. All right, so I just joined Infernal. And right now, if I type in chat, I'm actually a default rank. So I'm going to go ahead and do such claim rank. And then I'll just do emo so I play with him. And I'm going to go ahead and vote on here. And I'm going to get a free rank. And that'll give me access to a reclaim. So let me go do that real quick. And I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I just did my claim rank. And I just got a couple of vote keys. I am also now in at rank. So now I can do such reclaim. And now I have five lives along with three premium keys. So now I'm going to go ahead and open these. Um, I think I can throw out that because I don't need that. Maybe I'll just keep this stuff in case. But now I have some vote keys and some premium keys. So this will help us make a base. Um, okay, so let me open these premium keys right here. Um, okay, there we go. We got some prop one and some pickaxes, cobwebs, and the vote crate. Um, I'm not too sure where it is. Oh, it's right here, it looks like. Let's go ahead and open this. And I'm not sure why it opens every time. Okay, there we go. We got some more prop ones. So we pretty much have a full prop one set. And when we do such kit weekly, we will have a full prop one set along with kit starters. So we can brew a little bit of pots. And that should be pretty much enough to start trapping. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, so I just ran out and I literally just got a claim now. I got really lucky. There's like a bunch of wilderness and like brief over here and I actually claimed this part as well. Um, I'm gonna have to like clean this up or whatever. Um, but when I was at spawn, I sold the gold that I have and I only have eight now. Um, I bought some wool and I bought some stained glass and I also picked up a couple items when I was running and I also picked up a bit of wood when I was running. So now I can make some chests, uh, store my stuff and then make a base and then I'll probably bring you guys back once I have everything done. Alrighty you guys, it's been about 30 35 minutes or so since the last clip and I pretty much finished the base all I need to do is just brew some pots do my kit starter and I also remembered that I can also do slash redeem um, I guess in this case I'll just do emo and it looks like we got some elite keys that we can go and open um, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick base tour before we do start going 1 DTR trapping and getting some kills so I made it look like it's a 3 high I'm not really sure if people will fall for it but it's a 2 high as you can see um, we got 2 drop downs that lead to the same place and we got fence gates right here a crit out area in case they get in here crit out area here and then this is pretty much the main base here we got some chests here and all my other chests right here um i got a bunch of stuff in here nothing really that great but um yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and uh make some brewing stands and start brewing i actually don't really remember i know how to make a brewing stand i just i'm not sure i think it's cobblestone otherwise i'm gonna have to smelt cobblestone and make it into stone but i'm pretty sure it's cobblestone and i'm gonna brew some pots i think that'll give us around like 24 pots or i guess 25 because i think i have an extra pot up here that i got while i was running to get a claim um, and then I also have some extra glittering melon, which isn't really going to help us. But yeah, this is what our loot is looking like right now. I'm actually going to do my kit starter as well. And I'll probably go... Oh, wait, no, I'm not my kit starter. Sorry, it's kit weekly. And then... Um, oh... I guess I don't have kit weekly either. Okay, I'm not really sure why, but um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm probably going to start trapping and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, well, I'm not getting some sand right now because I just realized, you know, I can't really brew unless I have glass to make bottles to brew with. So yeah, I, I just got a bunch of sand. I think this should be enough. I guess I'll just try and finish off this stack right here. And there we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and F home. And then I think we're going to finally start brewing and then finally start trapping. And then yeah, I guess I'll bring you guys back when that comes. All right, well, as you guys can tell, I am currently 1 DTL right now, and I don't have a full inventory of pots, nor do I have custom enchants, so I'm, like, a little nervous actually to let people in. I kind of only want to let one person in, and we have two people outside of our base right now, and they're being, like, really sketched out right now. Like, they won't, like, come close to the fence gates because they think I have, like, a trap or something. Like, I don't want to let both of them in. I think I might just wait for someone else to come. Okay, I just let two people in. Um, okay, I actually... I don't know where my up sign goes. I forgot to make a actual thing to go outside of my base or in case it goes out. So crap, hopefully this doesn't go out. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. I'm gonna just have to like not place. Okay, I think they're trying to bone me. Man. Okay, no, they didn't bone me. I'm gonna have to like naturally regen my hearts too because I just don't have pots to waste. Let me get a golden apple. I literally only have four and let's go back up. And here we go. And I blocked off one of his teammates. Okay, there we go. I That's kind of bad for me. I didn't mean to block that off. 
Okay, he's up. He's gonna bone me. That's fine. I'm gonna go down. He chased me. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hit him back. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a ninja star. I should be able to win this relatively easily. And he just pearled as well, so he's gonna be on CD, so that's good for me. And I should be off. Here we go. And now I can just crit this guy out. And I'm gonna confirm this kill. I'm not even gonna worry about the guy at the top at all. And yeah, I'm just gonna crit this guy out right now, and we should be able to kill him. And I just killed one. I'm gonna go ahead and get his loot. I'm not sure if his teammate's still here. I'm really just looking forward to uh, what set they have. Hopefully it's good. Oh my, wait, no way they're in prop one too. Wait, what? How are they in prop one? They don't even have speed either. They have speed and uh, invisibility potions. Um, okay, well I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go store some of this stuff and I'm gonna see if the other guy's still up there. And let's see, it looks like, oh, he's still up here. No way he's still up here, okay. Um, okay, he's is he gonna come down? No, he's not. Okay, I'm gonna actually drink a speed pot. Um, I didn't want to waste these because I actually kind of need speed. I don't have speed boots, so let me actually drink this. And I'm gonna go up, and I should hopefully be able to uh, trap this guy pretty easily. Let me just make sure um, my up sign is not blocked. This guy's still here. Oh yeah, he is. Okay, can I get him in here? Thank you. There we go. And let me do that, and then I'm gonna kill his bard real easily. Thank you very much. All right. Now we should be able to just push him straight down the drop down it. Oh, I think I'm going to make like a little line just in case he does get in with me. Um, okay, he doesn't look like he's the uh, the smartest player or the best player, I should say. Um, okay, and I hit him down the drop down. And now we just go down there and crit him out. All right, we're going down. He's trying to, oh, he's trying to kill himself. Yeah, he knows his fate. Okay, well, we just got a free kill here. And that's pretty much how you trap on HCF. Um, yeah, not much to it. Well, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna grab the rest of this guy's loot and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I got King of Corn at my base right now because uh, no one was running in. So I wanted to see if I could actually trap him because he is a pretty good trapper himself. By the way, I am in a full P2 set now. Um, I go ahead and let him in. And I know he's a really good trapper. And uh, every time I run in his base, like I can't, like I can never kill this guy because he's like so good at trapping. So now he's gonna take, uh, he's gonna have a taste of his own medicine. What the heck just happened? Did he just, oh no, he's still in the base. Okay, good. Um, I'm gonna actually un try to unblock that looks like he's trying to switch for me or something um he's probably laughing at me like right now because i'm going super slow because he's really good at it but you know it's whatever i'm just kind of trying to show that uh anybody can do this like it's not hard and honestly like you don't even need a drop down like um uh, okay actually i kind of want to let him snowball me in there come on do it there you go okay i'm just gonna pro on here all right well looks like we're just gonna have to uh sit here and block him up the old-fashioned way because he doesn't want to uh take any chances um so yeah all right i think he's gonna try and snowball me again i'm gonna eat a golden apple so i don't have to waste pots and hopefully uh this guy doesn't have a lot of part items on him okay we're getting a lot of progress right here this is good um okay i don't know i'm playing really cautious right okay he's gonna hit me with a bone is he gonna hit me with them okay he's not okay it doesn't look like he's gonna come down either Okay, yeah, so it looks like he is at the top, and he's back in my base. Um, honestly, he's not doing that bad of a job trying to uh, actually make me raidable. Um, I'm going to act like I don't notice that that's there. Perfect, he crawled in. I can do this, close that. And if he time warps in here... Oh, I think he did time warp, because I don't think he could pearl that quick. But just in case he didn't, I'm going to block that up, because I'm not really sure. And we should pretty much... Oh, he can bone me again. That's not good. Um, let's go like this, maybe. I mean, if he wants to pearl in here, I'll let him. But I'm just going to try and... Uh... Okay, yep. Okay, he boned me. That's okay. I'm just going to tank it out. Can I actually pearl this? I can. Oh, oh nope. Um, okay, I'm just going to tank it out instead. Use a guardian angel and fight back. I might even be able to quick job him here. Okay, there we go. It worked. And there we go. And he just threw a pearl so he can't time warp. Oh, please let me block that. There we go. All right. And now we should be able to actually crit him out. And I have to do a top slab so he cannot go on the fence gate. And all right. Let's do this. Let's make a little way to get out in case. Um, or actually, I guess we'll just make it into like a little tunnel. Uh, in case he somehow gets in here. And all right. We have him trapped here. And he should be dead this time. He can't do anything. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Sorry for not talking, but um getting scummed right now by King of Corn. Okay. 
Let me break that real quick. And I'm gonna literally have to block up with freaking dirt because, oh my God, I can't even place the blocks. Okay, here we go. Please God, do not time warp in here. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually have to kill him because uh, he keeps trying to scum me. So um, I'm literally like out of blocks at this point. So, all right, well, <laughs> I, I thought he had pots still. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought you had more pots. Okay, well, anyways, um, yeah, I, I killed King of Corn. He did a really good job at base trading, um, but only that's that's only because I uh, kept giving him the opportunity to actually drop set, but he didn't take it for some reason. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, and then I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Alright guys, that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy, but before I do actually end off the video, I'm gonna show you guys the loot that we got from chopping, I think, like, two or three different people. I mean, it's pretty insane. This was from, I'm pretty sure this was all from, like, one person from King of Corn that we just killed, and then another half of the set is from them, along with these, uh, God Swords and Pearls, and then I also have a bunch of P1 sets over here, and I have a bunch of part items over here. Like, this is all from chopping just, like, two or three people. I mean, this is just freaking insane. If you guys want to get rich on HDF, this is pretty much all you gotta do as a solo, but yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you guys do click that subscribe button, it really does mean a lot. But yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.